Uh, what about when someone has spinach in their teeth? Classic situation. Is it okay to go, yo, you got spinach in your teeth? Is that okay? No, but it's not okay to ignore it either. Because, oh, oh. because they're going to go. The rule, which applies uh, more widely than just spinach, is if you can mention something discreetly, discreetly not being a word around here, I got it, uh, to people... <laughs> something that people can fix quietly um, but you don't mention things they can't so you don't say it's a terrible haircut what are you gonna do about it but if you say excuse me I can't quite tell but is there something on your twos then they can you're allowed to say What's that your... can you say in front of other people you've got no, spinach you say on your teeth discreet I you sorry, sneak I didn't outside and use your discreet cellular means. phone and you call them, <laughs> and you call them. Trying to avoid is that wonderful moment. Have you ever right. done this? You come home, you think, I was really clever tonight. You right. give yourself a big smile. I've never gone home mirror. from this show and said, wow, I was really clever tonight. Never, that has not happened once. Because you've got spinach in your tooth. That's oh. what they're laughing at, you see. Oh, and so I see. I'm telling you to take it off, and then they'll stop laughing. If Isn't that what you if, want? Yeah, I have a quick question. Is it acceptable if, say, it's a beautiful woman with a little bit of spinach on her teeth, can you go up to her and go and, and kiss her and remove it by kissing her? And then retreat, and then you smile, and you have it, and she's like, wink, he's okay. Is that possible? Consenting adults, if she likes Consenting it. Consenting adults. If she doesn't like it, you're in deep trouble. Miss Manners, if I may call you that, uh, which is the culture with the best manners, historically? Which culture in this uh, spinning blue globe we humans call Earth has the best manners? Actually, American manners, when people practice them, uh, are wonderful. Mm -hmm. They, the founding fathers were very. They all wrote about etiquette. I bet you didn't know that, did you? Um, and, no, I right. didn't know that. Why did you assume I didn't know that, though? I think it's rude of That's you to assume I'm stupid. <laughs> I have a brain. I'm not just this incredible body. <laughs> no. Why are you doing it to me? I'm sorry. We've got to try and get along. Can what we, about? Can we make up? Yes, we can. Okay. All right. <laughs> Um, you want to hear about American manners? No. All right. Uh, what about, I, I, I have a personal interest in this. I grew up in a very large family, okay? And we used to want, we were all huge eaters. We're big eaters. What about seconds and thirds? Can you ask for seconds and thirds? If there are seconds and thirds, you can ask for them. And well, if you yeah. grow up in the family, you know how much the is for dinner and, right. then, and then you can do that what you can't do is um uh ask for if you don't know you wait to be offered and the way to offer by the way is to pretend that you're not noticing how much anybody is eating so you do not say would you like an eighth piece of pie you say fatty would you like the pie? <laughs> yeah, hey fatty, fatty. Yeah. yeah why don't we just that's... strap a bucket on your face <laughs> well, that's not that bad that's a bad thing. That's a bad thing. I want to point out that that's what you shouldn't do. That's no on that. Um, that's about, you know, the worst abuse of table manners now is people watching what other people are eating right. and commenting on it. You're eating too much. You shouldn't be eating this. It's no good for you. Oh, come on, have some more. It's good for your diet. Right. Used to be a rule years ago. You just never mentioned food at the table. Just and don't we, mention food at the table. Yeah. That's then we crazy. abandoned it. That's where you it. eat the food. What do you mean you you never mentioned? You have nothing else to talk about. When I, I'm at the table, I want to talk about the food. I want to. The food yeah, is essential yeah, to this me. Is, I hate this. I don't like this. This is bad for you. This is too. I fattening. just want to talk about the food. I got to get food in me. That's why I go and sit at the table. I don't sit at the table to chat with other people. <laughs> I sit at the table to strap on the feed bag and get it on. Why are you going to the table at all? Open the refrigerator, stick your face in. That's what a lot of people are doing now. I do that. I often do that. I know. I know. I know. A lot I'm of one of those people that. that sticks my... I don't even use my hands. I just eat through the refrigerator <laughs> late at night. Yeah. How am I doing? <laughs> Give me a grade Can of some kind. Can we go back to the part where you were backing up? Yes. Well, we will, because now we're, we're at, unfortunately at the end of our segment. We have, we have run out of time. I think we've been quite informative. I think I have behaved rather well. The book, Miss Manners Basic Training, Eating, is available everywhere. It was quite a pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you so much I for having me. I do you. hope you you'll come back. Gentlemen. It was very nice to see you. Thank you. And now we will end the segment. Judith Martin, our thanks. Curtis Salgado, Steve Miller are coming right up. We'll be right back.